guys, I'm here backstage. We're getting all excited for the VMAs this Sunday. I'm here standing with the gorgeous and talented Katie Stevens. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, I get most excited, I think, for like the red carpet and like the fashion aspects of the me VMAs too, too. because I feel like it's where everyone kind of takes a little more of a risk with their fashion choices. So are you going to be taking a risk this Sunday? I am. I'm going to do something, I think, a little more mature than I've done in the past. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in my early 20s, but, you know, I'm becoming a woman. So, you know, I want to have, like, a dress that shows off my figure. So and you're going to be doing it super sexy. Sexy, but, like, classy sexy. sexy. You have to keep it classy yes. and sexy. Yes. Yes. I think that's important. You know, I actually just spoke with Jeremy Scott, and he was saying... His expectations for the fashion this Sunday is high. High? Oh man, well I better deliver, I what guess. Do you, what do you think Miley Cyrus is going to deliver? Is she going to be wearing clothes? I mean, I, I think it's expected that she wouldn't, so I think she'll do something like showing a lot of skin, be a little risque, but I feel like she's going to do what people don't expect her to do. So I feel like everyone expects her to be like sticking her tongue out and like doing all those things. I think maybe she'll throw like one or two to a camera to like please people, but uh, I think I think she'll do things that we don't expect. So she's keeping it classy. So I don't know if she's gonna be twerking on the stage. Maybe she'll tame it down a little bit. I think maybe. I think that's what's like not expected of her. Yeah, I wonder if Robin Thicke will show up as well. I feel like that would be funny if they just did like a little cameo thing, om homage to what they did a few years ago. So you're basically living the dream right now. Of course, being a part of the MTV family, traveling, shooting. Yes. What's it like being a part of MTV? It's it's amazing. I've watched MTV growing up. So now being a part of the family, it like almost doesn't feel real. I feel like I have to pinch myself constantly. And, you know, I, I used to watch the VMAs from my couch. And now I get to get all glammed up and, and go on the red carpet and be a part of it, which is, which is really awesome. Do you get to present? I don't. But... That's, I think it, that's what makes it more fun for me because I don't have the nerves of having to get on stage. So I get to just like look really beautiful and watch and enjoy. And there's like tons of good looking guys everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if One Direction's going to be there. I wonder. They just came out saying that they're like going to be taking a break. Yeah. I think they're going to be doing kind of like the Backstreet Boy and sync thing. Taking a break. That doesn't work in the boy band world. It doesn't. It does not work. doesn't work. What kind of music do you listen to and, you know, to get pumped up before you do a big scene? Um, it depends on the scene. Like, if it's a sad scene, obviously I'll listen to a sad song. But um, I do, I write country music. So I think country music with the storytelling is what gets me into any mood. So yeah. I think there's a country song for, for every emotion. So Definitely. Um, for everybody out there, she's an amazing singer. She absolutely kills it. Thank so you. are you working on an EP right now? Are you dropping any new music? What can I spin on my radio show? I am not dropping any music yet, but I um, am just working on, on who I am as an artist and, and just songwriting for now. And I'm really just kind of enjoying finding myself in that way. And, and Nashville is such an incredible place for songwriting. So I just bought a house there. Wow, yeah, thank you. So wow. I'm going to be spending a lot more time there, and I love it there. It's just such an amazing city. Wow. So why why buy a house in Nashville compared to buying a house in Los Angeles? It's <laughs> much cheaper, and it reminds me of home. I grew up in Connecticut, and there's just a lot of that, you know, family values and, and things. Not to say that there there aren't right. here, Not but there's no family values in Los Angeles. Yeah, I mean, but more so, it's it's I feel like the southern way of doing things. I think that's that's the way Nashville is, and you know, I've been really fortunate to have an amazing group of friends while I've been there, and uh, it just it really feels like home to me. Definitely, definitely. And of course, being on the set. Does that feel like home to you every time you get on there? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're one big family on faking it, honestly. And I feel like people say that, but I, I truly mean it. Um, it's like now we've, it's almost like we have summer vacation and now we're about to start shooting season three. So it's like coming back to, to school and being excited to see your friends and stuff. So I'm really excited for what the writers have in store for us and, and to see what we can expect because I think fans are always like what should we expect from season three after 2B so um, I'm really excited to continue these characters stories and to do it with such an incredible cast and crew. Well, you're awesome. We Thank love you. you. Thank you so much for stopping by to talk with us Thank on this so hot much. day in LA. Well you know what we're keeping cool because we're under a tent yes. so I'm grateful for that. 